Hello besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to, to film this video for you because I wanted to do this since the fall started, mid-August, <laughs> and I was super excited to film this video for you. So what we are going to do is we are going to pay a visit to the dollar store, uh, get some decorations, fall slash Halloween decorations. Uh, hopefully I find what I am looking for and we are going to come back here and reorganize. I want to reorganize, but I also want to unhaul some books, I think, because I need more space. We have some space issues as everyone else, I believe. And so we need to unhaul some books. We are going to unhaul, we are going to reorganize a little bit, decorate, which is super exciting and uh, yeah, so now let me take you with me to the dollar store and then we come back and do all the fun things together. Do you see it? Do you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> of course you can. That's the dollar store. Let's go in. We came to the Halloween stuff. <gasps> Look at these cute bags. <gasps> Should I take one? Should we take the cat? These are super cute. I think I want to buy the cat. Yes, I'm by the cat. Let's see. These are uh, lanterns. I believe these, yes, they glow. That's black. Black leaves. I wanted to get some leaves for my bookshelves. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, these candle holders. Yes, I think there's like a small lamp inside. Yeah, that makes it glow. These are cute. What is this? Plastic gloves? A shower cap, I think. Yes, it is. Shall we get it? Ooh, look at these. <laughs> you have the fake ears. Oh. 
the party decorations. This where you can paint it by yourself. This is cute. It's a trick or treat. This one is so freaking. The ghost holding the bath. So put soap inside. Oh, these are super cool. Home sweet haunted home. <laughs> One way in, no way out. <laughs> okay, this is what I came for. Oh, these are super pretty. It's the first time I see them. It's a book and we have a castle coming out of the book. Bats and pumpkins. This is super, super cool. 120. So it's about, I would say, $10. This one is super cute too. And have a candle inside. This is pretty. This is pretty too. I have a crow home. Maybe I will buy the cat. The books, oh, definitely the books. This is this is like the one that I already have, but different colors. The cat with the bat wings. Oh my god, super cute. Oh, how about the dragon instead? Okay, let me bring my cart. Oh my god, look at how big this is. Oh, and it closed. Yes, there is, you can turn the light on. This one is super pretty too. These also, you can turn on the light. Oh, here it says magic brews, poisons. It's also very pretty. Look how big. It's my hand. Look how big this is. Okay. I need to decide. <laughs> Best costume. Okay, I think I'm gonna take. Do we have do we have do we get the hand or the snake? 
I'm leaning towards the snake just because the colors are pretty. Or we get another Definitely going to get this one. This is also so pretty. These. Should we take a small dragon too? Maybe. I think I'm gonna bring this home <laughs> to um, This one is super pretty definitely taking this one too so this is what i got three things i don't know if i want to get more this also glows mm. i really like this but it's a bit too wide This one, this one I really, really like, but it is too big for my shelves. But it is, looks so, so cool. It really does. <laughs> these also, I love these. Uh, did I show you up top? Look how pretty these pumpkins are. But I didn't find any like autumn leaves. Those you can hang. There are only those black ones there. And these are like plastic flowers and decorations. Well, I wanted something like this, but to hang. Okay, so we are back, but it took me more than one visit to the dollar store because when I first went, uh, I took you with me. You saw that I didn't find what I was looking for. I wanted those long uh, leaf garlands, if you know what I mean, and I didn't find them. But I went back a couple of days after that and I found them because I think they had them back uh, and they didn't put them out back in the storage and they didn't put them out yet. So yeah, I was like 100% sure I saw them last year and I thought they should have them. So yeah, I went back and and I'm super happy that I found them. So let me show you a small haul. These are the leaves that I was talking about. Put one here. So these are the ones. Um, I wanted to put them like this. Here. One here and one here. The length is good and maybe we will try to tuck them in in between the bookcases or also here I don't have a lot of space. Maybe we can do it here but um, if I can't I will just tape them, use a clear tape and tape them. Um, so we have two of these and 
Oh, you saw me, by the way, get this back too. I, I, I adore. I fell in love with this back. I adore this cat and the pumpkins. I love this design. <laughs> so I, I had to have it. Um, what I also bought is these lights. I bought only one, but because I don't know if I need more. So we will need batteries for this to work. Let me show you. Yeah, every leaf has a lamp and I think these will look absolutely gorgeous. Um, when we put them, I thought maybe I will put them here like this. I should have bought two. If I like it, I will come back and buy another one. It's fine before it goes out of stock too. It's not that long. How long is this? This is 1.65 meters, but it will cover enough for a shelf, maybe two. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I will have to buy another one. And for the decorations, you saw me pick these in the store. We have this cute book with the castle and the pumpkins and the bats and the ghosts. It, it just it looks super cute. And I also bought another one. We have twins here <laughs> to this. This one is a bit bigger. Oh, I didn't notice that. When I saw this in the store, I thought it was the same size as the one that I already have, but it is a little bit bigger. I love the purple. We have a bigger and a little brother. <laughs> so that one and this is the last decoration that I got. Look how cute. Okay, now what I think I'm going to do is empty these two shelves so I can have the space to put the books that I recently received and hauled um, in this bookcase right here. So yeah, let's start emptying this one. She's not a celebrity, but she's taken So can't help falling in love Can't take the hint and give up My mama told me don't talk to people you haven't I mean, I could unhaul these since I have the LeJoy Crate editions But I have such good memories with these two because I read the Six of Crows from them. Yeah, this got scratched. Um, and I also tapped them. I didn't annotate inside the books. I just tapped them. And I also kind of love this, the map. The end papers are really pretty. And I love we have the artwork of the characters in here. So I might keep them just like for sentimental reasons. <laughs> Um, this is a Dawn of Onyx, the copy from Midnight Whispers. And I really, they mentioned that they are not sure that if they are going to continue on with the series or not, but I really want them to. That's why I'm still holding on to this copy because I love this special edition so, so much. And I really want them to continue on with the series. Um, so yeah, I hope they do. I hope they do. Uh, Bookish Box announced that their, I believe September, the September Bookish Box pick would be this book, The Stars Are Dying. And if you've seen the reveal, the cover, <laughs> I screamed when I saw that. Absolutely gorgeous. The artwork, the, the edges, everything. That book is 
jaw-dropping. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this one, although I think it's special because it's a first edition and it is like, it is digitally signed, but also it is like a first special edition. So I think I will keep it or like depending if I love the book or not, uh, if I think I need to keep this one, I will keep it. If not, I will just unhaul it. Um, and yeah, I'm looking at these because I need to read this duology too. Um, I also have this Akutar box set. I think I will be moving this one to this bookcase. Um, yeah, uh, these are the ones that I have tapped and read from and um, I just love these books so um, I don't think I will ever unhaul these. Oh, wait a second. This is Emily Wilde's. Um, where is the first Emily Wilde's? I can't see it. <laughs> where? Yes, there it is. So I want to put them side by side. Oh, you know what? I think I might unhaul this just because I lost interest. Uh, I don't think that I'm ever going to pick up this book and read it. It is a super, super stunning edition from Fairy Loot. Um, and I also got this in the first round. So I don't, I don't know if the second one was hand signed or not, but it is hand signed and we have gorgeous character art stunning foiling but i don't think that i'm going to read this one unfortunately i love the edges i love everything everything they did with this book um but yeah this one is going i need space i also have another sequel the undermining of twyla and frank and I want to put this next to, yeah, this one is going to A Ship of Bones and Teeth. Uh, I enjoyed it. I have talked to you about this book. Um, it is a stunning copy. Let me show you. But the thing is, I don't know, this is the Midnight Whispers copy. The foiling is beautiful. I love the edges. The end papers, I mean, I have already hauled this uh, book before. Everything is gorgeous, but I don't think that I will be reading this book again. <laughs> Super beautiful, I know. Assigned book plate. Um, yeah, look at it gorgeous the inside formatting is also let me show you if i can find yeah it is super pretty but space space is the key word <laughs> so now do we have space no um yeah yes we do yes we do i'm still unhauling this one um i didn't read it yet i really want to read it but i think i think i will be unhauling this oh it has character card art character art cards <laughs> prints art prints mm, they look so pretty oh i don't know 
The book is beautiful too. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try to sell it. If it sells, it sells. If it does not sell, then I'll keep it. Um, yeah, I think I will do that. Uh, what else? Sword catcher. <laughs> I sold my fairy loot copy. I sold my owl crate copy. I only have this one and the water. Yes, the water stones one. This one left. And I think I'm going to sell both of them, even though it really hurts me to sell this copy. This is absolutely stunning, but I just didn't enjoy the book, to be honest. I don't know if I want to give the second book a chance. We already talked about this, but life is too short, you know, life is too short. Um, I can just move on to another series that I really adore. So, yeah, I will be unhauling these, selling them to people who will really, really enjoy them. Uh, I think it's better that way. Um, also, this book right here, I bought this upon a frosted star. I bought this last year from Waterstones um, and I haven't read it yet. I think what I'm going to do, this is a, I think it's a wintry book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it this winter, try to read it this winter. If I don't, then I will unhaul it. Um, and you know what? Maybe I will start a series on my channel where I like, read it or unhaul it you know uh you either read it love it it stays or you read it don't love it does not stay or you don't read it and you unhaul it because it's not fair for the book the book needs love and if i'm not willing to give it the love or if i don't have the time someone else will and i think it's it's right you know <laughs> it has the right to be loved um, so yeah, let me know if you are interested to see like read it or unhaul it um, type of video. The fonts are big. It's really pretty. Does not have anything on the cover except like the foiling on the spine. But the cover is stunning. The end papers. Um, it's also signed. The edges are beautiful. It is a stunning book, so I will give it a chance this winter. We will see about that. So now we have space. Let me move things around. I'm looking at the books with edges here. Um, Heaven Breaker, although I think I can put it here next to the yellow one. Um, the darkness within us here the spell shop oh this is the owl crate card i will put it there for now uh, i have already sold my copy of girl goddess queen i have unhauled that book just because i loved it i enjoyed it so so much but i didn't think that i would read it again and it is a Waterstones exclusive edition. So I think someone else was really happy to have it. So yeah, I sold it. We have Belladonna here. Okay, let me... Let me talk about these for a second. These two. Uh, Foul Lady Fortune and Foul Heart Huntsman. I know that you have to, you don't have to read, but people who read the first duology, the, what is it called? Um, these Violent Delights, people who read that duology said that it is better to read that one before this one because uh, these are characters that we meet in those books. So I'm waiting until 
I'm interested <laughs> enough to read that duology. I know it is a favorite for a lot of people and I really, really want to read it because I loved Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. It is the first book and the only book that I read by her, but I think these are YA. That one is an adult one, so I don't know if I'm going to like her YA books, but they are favorites to a lot of people. That's why I was going to unhaul these the other day, but then uh, I stopped myself because I didn't even give them a chance. And I'm, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I will love them. And these are beautiful, beautiful Waterstones editions. So uh, yeah. And I also sold my copy of Foul Heart Huntsman. The copy that I unhauled, I think in the last uh, organization video, the fairy loot copy, I sold that one. So I only have this one, the Waterstones one left. Um, super, super pretty too. That's why I'm thinking about maybe I really should read that duology. Maybe I will have a new favorite YA duology. Um, so I'm going to keep them for now. Belladonna, Fox Club. I'm going to leave some space for Wisteria. These, I think I'm going to put the special. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Let's talk about this one for a second. Let me just put. <laughs> Let me put the spell shop first. Uh, okay, there. Fall of Ruin and Wrath. This was the Bookish Box monthly pick of November, I think, uh, of last year. And I loved it. You know, I loved this book so, so much. But I already own the Fairy Loot Special Edition. And I mean, this one is gorgeous too. We have a reversible with foiling on both sides. Beautiful foil on the hardcover. character art and the edges are beautiful too uh, but I'm not sure if I need to because I have this one from fairy loot and I really love it too I had the waterstones exclusive edition too um, and I sold that copy because I didn't want to have too many these have the crows. The other hardback is more beautiful in my opinion, but even though like it is damaged here, I mean, I received it that way. I got it like, you know, the white tears and whatnot, uh, but I still love this character art, so. I should have asked for a replacement. <laughs> now looking at it, yeah, I should have asked for a replacement. Let me check, is it? It is a digital signature. Was it digital here too? Yes, it is a digital signature here too. Both of them are digital. So, and I kind of prefer the, these edges. Um, I think I'm, going to keep the fairy loot one and unhaul this yeah look at me unhauling all these special editions but yeah, yeah it, it needs to be done because we need the space and i mean if it is a book that i have multiple copies of if i manage to sell them then i think it's better to sell them because i need the space Okay, fourth wing, bookish box with the page overlays and everything. This one I'm definitely going to keep, but now I'm thinking that I have too many fourth wing special editions. And what I'm thinking of is maybe sell my Waterstones exclusive editions because I have Fairy Loot, I have bookish box. I have this edition from Lilac Library. Maybe I will end up selling this one too, to be honest. Um, I think I'm going to sell my Waterstones and just 
collect fairy loot and bookish box. I think because, yeah, I should do that. Uh, so this is Iron Flame. I will maybe end up selling these also one day because I have the fairy loot ones. Uh, but that day is not today. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, a fragile enchantment. Uh, it is super pretty. With the character art. The seam card. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous... <laughs> Am I going to read it again, though? That's the question. I don't think so. I don't think so. It is stunning. Digitally signed. Okay. Um. Oh my god. Tough decisions. I think I will unhaul it. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> um, someone has to make these decisions and that someone is me, unfortunately. So, no, fortunately, <laughs> because like I'm emotionally attached. Um, this is going to be among the books where I need to read it, either read it or unhaul it, because I had this for like, I think a year, a little bit less than a year maybe, uh, but I need to read it. I bought it because I wanted to read a Brandon Sanderson book, but I didn't want to uh, start a series. I didn't want that big of a commitment. So I thought this was the perfect book to just read it like as a standalone and see if I like it or not. Um, so yeah, I need to read it. I need to read this one. Put it back. Gothicana, never. <laughs> I love it. The Fragile Threads of Power, never. <laughs> um, okay. The Ritual, I think I loved the, the Naked Cover more, yeah. It is. It is giving, but we'll keep it to protect it for now. I put it here since it's red. This beauty right here. There. The Wren and the Holy Library. I really want to read this this fall. Where to put you? I kind of want to put it here. <laughs> I know, I don't want to do any rainbows, but okay. just, yes, there, okay. Slaying the Vampire Conqueror. I'm going to ignore this because it literally hurts my heart. Uh, but this has to go with the other books in the same series. But I have no space. No space. Oh, yes. I do, I do, I do. I do have space because I'm going to unhaul this book. Um, why, you ask? I really want to read it. And I know that everybody who read this said that it was one of the best enemies to lovers and they loved this romanticy so so much uh, but i'm not liking the customizations that illumicrate did with this book i think it's very like minimal um nothing on the back the edges are like kind of okay it is hand signed but i wanted to see more to be honest. So that's why I'm unhauling this. I will still keep an eye on this series and on this book, but I hope we get uh, another special edition of this book. 
So yeah, this is going. And now we have space to put slaying the sh uh, the vampire, not the shifter prince, the vampire conqueror. Perfect. I have the beautiful bargainer series that I want to display here somewhere in the middle. So we are going to change things around here. Uh, Growing up, I read books about enchanting bliss. Fallen head over heels, sealed by a true love's kiss. Embers in the air, flickers everywhere. A fire you just can't miss. Now the older I get, the more I premonize. about the girl with no reflection i know i just got this book but i don't know if i am interested enough to read it um and like at this point when i read the synopsis of the book i know if i have that need to read the book and discover what the story is about or not and i didn't get that feeling unfortunately with this one so i believe it is better to just unhaul it now um, and not just keep it on my shelves and unhaul it later. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to sell this to someone else who might be excited to receive it. And also like it is a new monthly uh, pick, so I think people would be really excited to own this copy. Uh, yeah, I'll pass it to someone else. Um, the grandest game, I'm going to put it on this shelf here next to the inheritance game series what do we have left okay we have ah! <laughs> i'm super when i tell you i cannot believe that i got my hands on this book i can't believe that i got my hands on this book um so where 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 okay next to the the mind f series here assistant to the villain no. Do we have? Yes. Yes, we do. Perfect. Noctigadia. Super excited to read this this month. Um, with all the art prints and everything, I will take them, put them somewhere else. Um, this is fine. 100%. Ooh. I forgot about the naked cover. That's fine. This book is gorgeous. Or, I mean, it can be edges too. The edges are stunning. Um, but I think... No, no. I need space for... What did I put? Oh, the ritual. I will move this. Because we need space for um, Wisteria there. You know what? I will take Gothicana, put it next to Cat and Mouse duet, like all the dark romance, Nocticadia. Um, okay, we have one more box uh, or like one more series, the Lady of Darkness series. I kept it in uh, this foam here because the Arcane Society, the last pick, the last two months, uh, since it is a bi-monthly, the pick is the Lady of Darkness series. Not the series, but the first two books. But then they usually add an add-on to buy the rest of the books. 
and we got a sneak peek of the designs and I really loved what they did. I, I, I loved what I saw. <laughs> uh, the, the, the design, the hardcover, uh, the design of the dust jacket, um, the stenciled edges, very colorful. Uh, uh, I really, I fell in love with that design. So um, depending on the character art, because I think we are going to get um, character art on the end papers, um, like from the pick of the artist, I think we are going to get character art on the end papers. If I love the character art, because I'm in love with the character art and the reversible dust jackets on these ones, that one does not have a reversible dust jacket and we didn't see the art yet, the character art. So depending on if I like that, those, the character art there more, I will probably sell these. I will honestly probably sell them for cost because I know that people uh, who wanted to, to get their hands on them didn't have the chance. Maybe they got them when they did the leftover stock, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, I will just, I'll be happy to sell them for the cost, what I paid and like the shipping and the VAT and everything. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't want to move them from that phone because if I ship them, I can ship them directly protected like that and add an extra layer of protection with the bubble wrap. Um, so yeah. That's why I'm not going to put them here. I'm going to wait until I receive my Arcane Society box, I receive my books, and then we'll see what we're going to do with that series. So yeah, now I think what we have to do is, um, I still have some space, put, put back these books there and um, decorate, finally. What I loved about this one is that you can turn it on. <laughs> Super cute! And yeah, exactly like this one. This one also. So, I don't know where I'm going to put this one. Maybe here. I'll push them back a little bit. To this one, so where, where, where I'm going to put this? Okay, this is the final look top to bottom. Tell me what you think in the comments. I really like it. <laughs> Maybe I will change this afterwards to make this like more like this, if you know what I mean. And I'm probably going to buy another one uh, just to have one here and one there. Uh, but yeah, it's giving me all the vibes. It looks super cool and super folly. Folly? Is that the word? <laughs> <laughs> and super autumnal. I love how it turned out. I love that we have like Halloween-y, gothic -y, uh, decorations too. Uh, and yeah, let, well, this does not belong here. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm super happy with how it turned out. So uh, this is another day. I went back to the dollar store and I found that they still had this in stock and I wanted to film this for you. So I added this to this side. So now we have to. And I also saw that they brought new things for Halloween and I love this box. Look at how cute these are. I wanted to show it to you. Look at all these cute little things. I was so happy to find this. Um, yeah, they didn't have them when I first went there. I pretty much showed you everything they had and they didn't have this box. So I was happy to find that they added some things. And of course I had to get it. So now I want to add these somewhere. Maybe here.
if you made it this far leave me one of the fall emojis one of your choice and also i wanted to wish you a happy the happiest fall ever and if you enjoyed the video please watch my videos my previous videos one of these it truly means the world to me that you watch my videos and that you enjoy them and yeah i wanted to express how grateful i am my gratitude to have you guys here i truly truly appreciate every single one of you all of your comments you really changed my life and i am so grateful to have you uh, i love you all thank you so much for watching um, and yeah until i see you in my next one bye